incontinence means involuntary loss of urine at any time. It is not a question of the amount. It can be just a few drops, which is not that much disturbing. It can be a lot, depending on the reason for the incontinence, but any loss of urine that the patient does not want is incontinence. Uh, there is a huge difference between male and female incontinence. In the female, between the fourth and fifth decade, the so-called stress urinary incontinence may occur. Uh, stress urinary incontinence means that a patient loses urine during raise of the pressure in the bladder, that means laughing, coughing, some sports and things like that. The amount of urine that is lost is usually small in these patients. Affected are females with a special uh, texture of the connecting tissue of the pelvic floor, maybe a couple of uh, children in the history or hard work. There is another form of incontinence which is also found in women, the so-called overactive bladder. That means a strong urge of to, to urinate and in certain cases the person does not reach the toilet in time and loses urine before she reaches the toilet. The incontinence situation in the male may be pretty different. We have patients who lose everything all the time. We have patients who are dry in the morning but wet in the afternoon when the pelvic floor gets tired. Others are wet even during night. So there is a wide uh, field of indications and we have to answer these specific situations for each patient. For that reason, we use either some suburethral slings, which are implanted under a certain pressure, not too much, not too low. We have these little balloons, who are really easy and quick to implant, very well accepted by the patients, but they are not perfect if you have a urine loss of more than four or 500 milliliters per day. The Mercedes uh, under the sphincter uh, implants is, is other hydraulic sphincters. This is one here, I have another one, who have the possibility to close and open. They have a real open and close mechanism. That means if the patient is really severely incontinent, it is probably a good idea to use an implant like that. For that reason, especially in men, I would suggest seeing the doctor at the first problem of incontinence. It may be uh, not always easy to treat it, but as I said, we have so many options uh, that I can really say in the vast majority of patients we will solve the problem or at least improve it to a point where a patient comes back to the social life. The key point really is that the therapy follows the needs of the patient and not the repertoire of the surgeon. There is no time to lose uh, being focused on urine and urine loss. You should think of different things uh, than that. More interesting stuff. Mm -hmm.